Welcome to Best Incorporated Soldering Tip of the Month. Hi, my name is Norman Meir. Today's method that we will be doing is a multi-leaded plated through hole tweezer removal method. We'll be using a 032 solder to fill our tip with. We'll be using a Metcal TATC 603 tip and we'll also be reusing the Metcal desoldering gun with an STDC 803 desoldering tip. This method is used if you want to really get a part out quick without causing any damage to the board. Okay, first thing that we want to do is to make sure our tips are nice and clean. So I'll clean them off into the center of the hole, go to the outer edge, finish cleaning them. Next thing I'll be doing is so I don't put any solder on the top of my component, I'm going to lay a heat resistive pad pad down on top and then the next thing we're going to be filling is the inside of my tips full of solder. Straight up and down that way you don't cause any issues whatsoever. Make sure you use a good fume extraction system because you will create now, a lot of smoke. What you're also going to be doing is laying the solder on the inside edges just like this coming down making contact at the base with all leads flow more solder in so you have a great little bridge there and if you do everything right it should come out of the holes just that easy okay then discard this into the center of your sponge area so nobody gets burnt switch over to your desoldering gun system again put the tips back into the holder and if you notice look how nice and pretty it is and I didn't cause any damage to the board whatsoever and you see it didn't take but a couple of seconds to do that and look on the back side. Oh, there's a little bit of solder there, but I'm going to teach you how to remove all that with ease with a desoldering gun. Now I'm going to put my board a little like bit of an so angle and see what we're doing. To test to see if your iron is hot, I always recommend that you put solder to the tip of it. If you notice it is still not hot. See there, it's heating up. I'm filling it full of solder. Then I'm going to hit extract real quick to verify that the tip is going to take solder. And if you notice that, it took it really well and you got your tip nice and tinned up so you can do your job vacuum now remember you want to hold your tip when you come off for at least three seconds okay let's put our at an angle just like this do not move your tip around just come right down on top of it see solder melt hit vacuum hold for three seconds once you come off come over to the next one you can skip around remember do not do one right after the other Look how clean this is coming off. And again, wait three seconds. Got a big solder mass here, so just you can do that. Okay, come back down here. Three seconds after each and every one of these. Not a bad little cleanup going on. Now flip it over. Oh, see, this is a good thing too here because if you notice, I've got one hole that's got a little bit of solder in it. So just come on the top side even. There's no spec anywhere that says you should desolder exactly from the top or from the bottom. So you can come to either side. Now when you're done, you put a little tip. solder back on. Keeps it from oxidizing, just like so. Stick it back into the stand. Turn off your iron. Grab an acid brush, a little bit of alcohol, and clean up the top side, nice and pretty, circular motion. Come in here with a Kim wipe, dab it, it dry, flip it over to the other side. See a little bit of this solder laying around there? All you got to do is come in with an orange wood stick and just clean it all up. Be very gentle because you don't want to cause any pad damage. Okay, now again, dab it dry. Now look at that. Doesn't that look nice? No damage whatsoever. 
and it's quick, simple, and easy to do. And if you got thick boards, it really works well. And then you're done. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you.